The solar power tower, also known as central tower power plants or heliostat power plants or power towers, is a type of solar furnace using a tower to receive the focused sunlight. It uses an array of flat, movable mirrors called heliostats to focus the sun's rays upon a collector tower the target. Concentrated solar thermal is seen as one viable solution for renewable, pollution-free energy. Early designs used these focused rays to heat water, and used the resulting steam to power a turbine. Newer designs using liquid sodium have been demonstrated, and systems using molten salts 40% potassium nitrate, 60% sodium nitrate as the working fluids are now in operation. These working fluids have high heat capacity, which can be used to store the energy before using it to boil water to drive turbines. These designs also allow power to be generated when the sun is not shining. Topic. Cost In 2017, the U.S. National Renewable Energy Laboratory NREL, has estimated that by 2020 electricity could be produced from power towers for 5.47 cents per kilowatt-hour. In 2007, companies such as Asolar then backed by Google.org were developing cheap, low-maintenance, mass-producible heliostat components that were to reduce costs in the near future. A solar's design used large numbers of small mirrors 1.14 square meters, to reduce costs for installing mounting systems such as concrete, steel, drilling, and cranes. In October 2017, an article in Greentech Media suggested that a solar ceased business in late 2016. Improvements in working fluid systems, such as moving from current two-tank hot-cold designs to single-tank thermocline systems with quartzite thermal fillers and oxygen blankets, will improve material efficiency and reduce costs further. Topic: Design. Some concentrating solar power towers are air-cooled instead of water-cooled, to avoid using limited desert water. Flat glass is used instead of the more expensive curved glass. Thermal storage to store the heat in molten salt containers to continue producing electricity while the sun is not shining. Steam is heated to 500 degrees Celsius to drive turbines that are coupled to generators which produce electricity. Control systems to supervise and control all the plant activity including the heliostat array positions, alarms, other data acquisition and communication. Generally, installations use from 150 hectares 1 square meters to 320 hectares 3 square meters. Topic. Environmental concerns There is evidence that such large area solar concentrating installations can kill birds that fly over them. Near the center of the array temperatures can reach 550 degrees Celsius which, with the solar flux itself, is enough to incinerate birds while further away feathers are scorched leading to the eventual death of the bird. Workers at the Ivanpah Solar Power Plant call these birds streamers, as they ignite in mid-air and plummet to the ground trailing smoke. During testing of the initial standby position for the heliostats, 115 birds were killed as they entered the concentrated solar flux. During the first six months of operations, a total of 321 birds were killed. After altering the standby procedure to focus no more than four heliostats on any one point, there have been no further bird fatalities. The Ivanpah Solar Power Facility is classified as a greenhouse gas emitter by the state of California because it has to burn fossil fuel for several hours each morning so that it can quickly reach its operating temperature. Topic: <laughs> Commercial applications. Recently, there has been a renewed interest in solar tower power technology, as is evident from the fact that there are several companies involved in planning, designing and building utility-size power plants. This is an important step towards the ultimate goal of developing commercially viable plants. There are numerous examples of case studies of applying innovative solutions to solar power. Beam-down tower application is also feasible with heliostats to heat the working fluid.
Topic: Examples of solar power towers. Asterisk peak power generation achievable in best possible weather, etc. conditions. Topic: Novel applications. The Pitt Power Tower combines a solar power tower and an aeroelectric power tower in a decommissioned open pit mine. Traditional solar power towers are constrained in size by the height of the tower and closer heliostats blocking the line of sight of outer heliostats to the receiver. The use of the pit mine's stadium seating helps overcome the blocking constraint. As solar power towers commonly use steam to drive the turbines, and water tends to be scarce in regions with high solar energy, another advantage of open pits is that they tend to collect water, having been dug below the water table. The pit power tower uses low heat steam to drive the pneumatic tubes in a co-generation system. A third benefit of repurposing a pit mine for this kind of project is the possibility of reusing mine infrastructure such as roads, buildings and electricity. Topic. See also Concentrated solar power Feed-in tariff List of concentrating solar thermal power companies List of solar thermal power stations National Solar Thermal Test Facility Solar furnace Solar thermal energy